are you treating mining as any sort of trade or are you just are you planning you know on sitting on these machines for their full five seven or longer year uh lifetime so to some extent i treat it like an experiment right because it's a new thing to explore but i don't i'm not treating it like a trade um because i don't really i don't treat my other bitcoin like a trade um, and so, uh, like Scott, you know, my intention was I got in a really good price for the ASICs is, you know, the way that I calculated, you know, a range of price expectations for Bitcoin, how much, you know, my mining rig could possibly, you know, get. And I said, if yeah, this is a great price, I'm happy to hold on to that, uh, you know, until that, that miner is no longer economic. Um, it's one of those things where, you know, if there's like extreme bubbles, like I always reserve the right to change my mind, um, rather than try to time the market. Um, but, you know, my, my intention is to really just kind of hold those machines long term. And I, you know, when it comes to the Bitcoin ASIC miners, I'm kind of treating them like that longer term type of investment, uh, at least for the most part. If there comes a time that I would want to sell the ASIC, it's nice to know that it will appreciate. Um, but that's not my intention. Like I said, I really want to just ride it for as, as long as I can. And, you know, the assumption is that these will last much longer than, than previous ASICs did in the past. And, and I'm of the firm belief that Bitcoin's going exceptionally higher, you know, and, and so I don't really see a uh, reason to trick myself or fool myself or, or uh, take the risk of, uh, we know what happens. You're going to sell your ASIC thinking you've timed the top of the market. The market's going to completely rip and you're just going to buy it back for twice as much and have missed all that opportunity to stack. So I don't see a reason to try to get cute. You know, I just I feel like uh, I got the entry that I wanted, probably the best opportunity we would have um, being sort of when the market crashed in, in May. And now I'm just going to, like I said, I intend to add, not to subtract. So that'll be my goal. You can have your sales team call me too. We're going. <laughs> everyone, everyone on here making the sales team real happy. Um. <laughs>